Hey YouTube, so I wanted to come today to show y'all just a really quick flip through of my new pocket size Midori style planner. Um, this one is from Buteo Bunker. I got it on their Etsy shop. Um, sorry about the background noise. That's my daughter. We're in the playroom slash office and she's playing right over there. Um, so I apologize for that, but it's less distracting than her crying. So we're going to go with it. Um, but like I said, this is from Buteo Bunker. The, I was using this passport size planner also from Buteo Bunker. Um, I bought this one because it was on sale and I, when I bought a majority size notebook from them and I didn't think I'd ever use it. And then I started using it and I really enjoyed it. Um, but I wanted to try the pocket size because the inserts are just a little bit more readily available than in the passport size. So I bought this on their site. They were having another sale. Um, I think it was less than $25 or something. And when I ordered it, it was already on its way to me the very same day that I ordered it. So that was really nice. Um, it is in the black. So it has like a black and white thing going on. I just added this little charm that was on my Chic Sparrow. And these little clips, I just these have just been in my stash. I'm going to have to figure out a better way to label. I don't have any dividers or, I mean, any um, tabs or anything. So... I'm working on it still. It's still a work in progress. So the Buteo Bunker doesn't come with any stitching. There's no pockets. There's no pen loop. I wish there was a pen loop, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So it's it's still really good quality. The leather is very good. Um, and the shipping and the prices can't be beat. So um, these, these dashboards I made using Planner Society paper. So super easy. This first book is has this field notes um grid book that I got off of Amazon. It came in a pack of three like this. This is the I think this is cherry wood um version. I really like those are really beautiful. This one I'm just using as a brain dump right now. I just have one little page filled out. I just started using this yesterday. Then I have my Loistrom pen loop that has my Coletto two plus one. It has red, black and a pencil. So I really like that. Then next I have these little um, plastic envelope card holders that I also got from Amazon and they came in a pack of three for I think seven-ish dollars and they had different sizes and this was not marked as a passport size. I know that's kind of, there There really aren't very many um, that fit the pocket size and I think that these actually do a pretty good job. There's very, very little um, overhang from the book. I think it wraps around the book really nicely and I, it would fit the pocket, the passport size, but it would be a little bit big. So it fits really nicely in this passport. I mean, in the pocket size, Ugh, sorry. So in here, I just have some, some Avery dots that I use for color coding for my school stuff. This is like my school book. I have an index page there, has my color code there, schedules, book list, you know, expenses, that kind of stuff. Um, and then in the back, I just have this little card that came with my um, field notes books. Then this next one is my calendar. This is a pocket from a set that I got on, that I got at the container store. And in it, it came with a bunch of different sizes. So this is like the credit card size pocket. Um, and in here, I just have some Willow Fields tiny icon stickers. Then I have my weekly and monthly from, this is from Annie Plans Printables on Etsy. Um, it was super easy to print out. It's pretty inexpensive, I think, considering what you get. So I just have my month on two pages. Then it has the tracker, which I was really missing. And then it has these these two blank pages, which I use for my personal and my work and school to-dos. And so I was really missing that as well. I really love that. Then this was last week. This is this week. And you can see kind of how it goes. And then September, and you have the same thing. So I like how it's all right here in one little book. You have two months. I like that. Um, then this came from the Target Dollar Spot. I had bought this for my passport size planner, but it didn't fit. Um, and so I kept it, and it fits perfectly in this personal, I mean, I'm sorry, this pocket size planner. I'm like, my tongue is tied. So I, I'm so confused here. Um, so this one I just use is kind of like my day on a page. 
um, bullet journal-esque type thing. And I didn't notice whenever I had bought this because I just tried to fit it in that book and it didn't work. And so I set it aside. But it has these little, you can see maybe it has this the date here. So it works perfectly for what I'm using it for. So this is like the a day per a day on two pages. So I can just put the date, write my to-do list and any other to-do things that I need to do over here to do to do to do any other things that I may need to do or whatever any notes for the day over there. So it works out really nice for that. Then I just have some sticky notes and then this last book is like this last section is my kind of financial section. This is that card holder that I've showed in other videos that I got at the like Japanese dollar store in my area. And this one came straight from my passport size notebook. Um, this is from Heidi Swap. I got this at Michael's and this fits perfectly in the passport size. Um, and it comes in a set of two, I think two books. And they're blank on the inside, which is fine. I just use them to kind of write out my monthly, my, just, I like to have a monthly calendar for when my bills are due and when I get paid and my husband gets paid. And then I write out our cash budget and then just any other like little miscellaneous financial notes or whatever. I do my financial planning in another book, an Erin Condren notebook. Um, but I like to just be able to have things, something with me that I could just write down notes in. And then I just have this binder clip. I have it clipped to the back of this dashboard and then to the leather. Um, just thinking maybe it might cause less damage, but I'm, I'm not really too concerned with it um, if it does because it's a notebook and it's meant to be used. So, um, but like I said, this is the pocket size. It does have some overhang. It's pretty stuffed. Um, it really doesn't have too terribly many books in it. Maybe the card, maybe this last book is what's kind of making it a little chunkier but um it bothers me a little bit but not enough to do anything about it um i'm gonna see kind of how it goes with changing some things up or whatever over time and we'll see if it bothers me um but i did order some inserts from for sizzle made um, i ordered some different weeklies because i want to be able to have my school stuff all in one calendar I, I don't like to have one for work and school and one for my personal stuff and it, i need to be able to see all of that at once so we'll see how it plays out once those get here i also ordered a bunch of stickers and all that fun stuff so um, i'll be sure to update y'all with any changes if there's any questions anything that i didn't mention just um ask down in the comments below and i'll try to get that information to y'all Thanks so much and have a great day.